everyone, it's Becky from Harp Strings and Wings and I am here today to do a get to know me tag and I thought it would be um, good to do for my channel and for my new web page and for Harp Strings and Wings. And uh, I just wanted to talk about a little bit about what I do. I am a certified therapeutic harp practitioner, that's CTHP, and it means that I am certified to um, play therapeutic harp music next to um, bedside of patients in the hospital for um, staff, um, anybody in the hospital type setting or waiting rooms, um, providing kind of environmentally therapeutic music and also music that can help um, bring benefits like lowering blood pressure, um, stress relief, and just a, a general sense of calm and peace to someone's life when they're they're in the hospital or a hospice or nursing home. Um, yeah, so I love what I do. I just got my certification in January of 2014. So it was a long journey of getting that in school and um, recording songs and book reports and that kind of thing, an internship for over 80 hours. Um, so yeah, I'm paid for what I do. Um, but uh, I was a volunteer for a, a long time before I was able to um, get paid for what I do. So there was a lot of patience with that. So um, yeah, and what else? Who else am I? Um, I grew up in Oregon, moved to Colorado, and then I have just been moving ever since because I am a military spouse and my husband is in the Coast Guard and we've enjoyed living in several places across the country, but we're both from the West Coast. Um, so yeah, we're, we're preparing for another military transfer coming up, um, but uh, right now we're in the Boston area and we've really enjoyed it here at Boston, Massachusetts. Um, what else can I tell you about myself before I answer just some random questions in the get to, get to know me tag? I'm not going to answer them all because that would take forever and nobody ain't got time for that. So yeah, we just want to keep this, you know, short and sweet. Um, my favorite color is lavender purple. Oh, I'm wearing it today. Yeah. And I've got this wonderful little fairy necklace. I think this is from Rachel Anderson. Um, how long have I been on YouTube? So I've had like a private channel for a while that I only posted like, you know, videos of for sharing with family and that sort of thing. And then uh, last July is when I started watching regularly. And um, just a couple weeks ago is when I started to decide to go public and you know, create videos and everything. So I'm still kind of um, new to all of that. What made me want to start my channel is that I wanted to share harp music, um, not just with people in the hospital, um, but I wanted to be able to tell like a patient or a person that enjoyed my playing, oh, you can listen you know, to my music for free online if you'd like. Um, and then I want to be able to have people listen in a live way to my music by listening to the videos. I mean, it's not live, but it is while I was playing and to benefit seeing me play as well as listening. Uh, and I plan to make more um, like harp therapy moment videos in the future that will have uh, specific healing intentions behind them. And I'm really excited to get started with that and share that with you in the future. Okay, uh, what do I do for fun? I like to crochet, I just learned last year. Um, what else, I love to play video games. My husband's a big gamer and uh, we were um, World of Warcraft people for a while. Yes, I w I'm a harpist and I play a Warcraft game. I know, it's like contradictory, but wouldn't you know, I was a healer while I was gaming. So I've got that. Healer in real life, heal, healer while playing video games. Yeah, that's that's what I like to do. Yeah, so I like Sims. I like that a lot too. I, play, I watch a lot of Let's Plays on YouTube as well for that. And I recently just have loved watching my husband play. I don't play it myself because I'm not any good at the controlling part of it. But uh, Mass Effect is is definitely one of my favorite video games. Name one item I can't live without. Well, besides like family and, you know, survival, basic needs, things like that, I can't live without some kind of instrument to be able to creatively just get what's in here out there. So that's definitely something I couldn't live without. Do I have any pets? Yes, I have two cats. One is a Siamese. Actually, he's right here. Come here. Oh, come here, the baby. Oh, I'm scared. Yes, I'm scared. This is Nin. He's my Siamese kitty, and he hates being held, 
but that's okay because you're gonna endure it for this video to show the world your cuteness okay then <laughs> drop and then I've got um, a calico who is very shy so she's just not gonna come but her name's Deza and that's yeah so we got a girl and a boy cat and that's it um, man perfect timing him walking by I tell you what am I planning to do today well days kind of like halfway over and I'm pretty exhausted. I was I played for three hours today, and, um, and my shoulder gets annoyed after a lot of playing. And of course, I have to watch my recent wrist injury. I, I um, pinched a nerve on my uh, harp sand board, and uh, it's been kind of painful to play. So I'm pretty exhausted. But I was all dressed up, and I'm like, I should just film because you know I'm I'm already dressed up, and I don't want to put on makeup again, you know, just to film. So <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, what I'm planning to do today was that, and I, I must say I had a really awesome day because I was fortunate enough to read a comment card um, from a patient, and um, I'm not sure who it was, but I, I think I ha I think I know just with intuition who I believe it was, but um, and I think it was a lady, but she said that uh, that the music um, touched her where her pain was, and made it feel that like she was not um, alone. And I just thought that was just so beautiful. Um, she said it more profound than that, but that's what's coming to my mind right now. And it that comment like made me tear up. It was awesome, ah, just love that. Love that my music can reach people like that. That's just totally amazing. I love what I do, it's great. How old will you be on your next birthday? I will be celebrating my seventh anniversary of turning 30. Get it? <laughs> What's my sign? I am a Virgo. And yeah, I've been more of a messy Virgo lately though. So I don't know, maybe my sign is like balancing out a little bit. <laughs> Cause you know, Virgos are supposed to be super organized and that kind of thing. Do I have kids? No, we are trying and trying and yeah so it's not in the cards for us it's not if it is we'll see if you were another person would you be friends with you yes why not i am completely awesome and i smell good on saturdays do you use sarcasm a lot no yes what is your favorite ice cream uh no ice cream because it destroys my insides. Dang it. What is the first thing you notice about people? I notice people's teeth and their mental stability. Is that bad? Who do you miss the most? I miss my nieces and my nephews. Love them so much. And I miss my stepfather who passed away last October. What is the last thing I ate? I had the hospital salad bar and it was awesome. Y no, I'm serious. They have like the best salad bar. <laughs> if I was a crown, what color would I be? I would love to be one of those crowns that like whenever you start pressing on it, it turns into any color and sparkles. Yeah, I like sparkles. Do I wear contacts? I have had quite the history of contact wearing hard contact lenses for, oh gosh, the first, let's see, 20 plus years of my life. No, because I didn't, no, wait, no, because I didn't get them until I was like 10 or 12 or 13, I don't know. So yeah, uh, anyway, a, a really long time wearing hard contact lenses and it just really, I feel like it just destroyed my eyes and I got LASIK and it was awesome or PRK and it was awesome. Um, but I, yeah, they dried out my eyes. So I actually had to have permanent tear plug like inserts in, in like in my eye and, or in my tear ducts right here. I know it sounds gross. Ah, and it makes my eyes over water sometimes. <laughs> you think I'm crying. <laughs> I'm not, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> my favorite food is Thai food and specifically I really love like mango sticky rice. I could eat that every day. Sugar. Summer or winter? Neither. I'm a fall girl. Autumn all the way baby. 
computer or TV. I'm actually a computer because, well, not even that, my iPad, because I watch YouTube. That's my new TV. Right. My favorite sounds, um, well, of, <laughs> of course, right? No, um, that, yeah, of course, I love the sound of the harp. And I love the sound my little iPad makes when it's like you close the cover and it goes, and it makes that little lock sound. I know, I'm weird. I like it. Um, I also love the way I can get one of my nieces to laugh so hard that she almost pukes. I just love the sound of her laugh. What is the farthest I've been from home? Cancun. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in Mexico. Mexico, cuatros, cervezas, por favor. I know my Spanish better than that. It sounds better sometimes. Um, do I have a special talent? Well, besides the obvious, I mean, yes, I have been gifted with the ability to, you know, music. But I also have this talent. Wait, wait, hold on. There we go. I can make my thumb shorter. Eww. I know, it's gross. I probably just scared a whole bunch of you away. And, yeah, so, I mean, those are, I, there's a bunch of other questions, but they're just, you know, I, one word answer is not really important and I just wanted to share a brief video with you. I hope it's brief. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see when it's finished. And uh, yeah, so it's. I hope to get to know more of you as I continue to make more videos and share my music and um, with you. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye. Have a good day.